I honestly feel that there is no there is no need for euthanasia at all. I think it is it is looking at suffering and end of life care in entirely the wrong way. There are many many solutions in suffering and euthanasia is perhaps a cop out. Sometimes people just concentrate too much on on you know the downside of things and we forget that you know Nami is doing a lot of incredible things and we should support them through that. Nama saya Ahmad Nazmi bin Mak Nizam. Saya dari Malaysia, umur saya 15 tahun. Nami has um, spinal muscular atrophy, um, type 2. It affects your muscles, so he gets a de progressive degeneration of his muscles. Penyakit yang saya ini dia melemahkan fizikal, tapi otak dia tak, tak mengganggu. He's been in a wheelchair when he was 8, so he loses his... Um, um, power of his lower limbs and he gradually will lose power of his upper limbs so right now he can't comb his hair or wash his um, hair but he's able to brush his teeth or feed himself so that will slowly um, deteriorate and so he will not be able to do a lot of things for himself as later on as time goes by. Yang kami bangga bangga sangat dia memang so anak yang sangat pandai sangat pandai sangat cedek memang senang hati kami menjaganya walaupun keadaan dia macam tu kami ikut kehendak dia dengan CFA dengan dengan gembira bermain chess untuk melupakan penyakit ni saya dengan isteri saya pun tak pandai kami pun tak pandai main chess sebenarnya main kami chess. terkejut yang hmm. dia boleh main chess sedangkan dia punya sepupu dia saudara-saudara yang lain kami dah check memang tak ada seorang pun yang boleh main chess uh, tambah pula dengan uh, blind phone yang tutup mata main itu pun dia boleh dia boleh main mm. very good chess player he's a very good chess player when i saw his books it was alien to me the the things that he was doing because i'm not very good in chess i just play basics you see so i said when i saw this oh you're very good uh, nazmi and then he see i i i practice this at home say Berminat main chess dengan bermain game di komputer. Saya suka main chess sebab dia mengaji minda. Dia mengembangkan otak. Dari pagi dari segi IQ dia, alhamdulillah dia dia punya kepandaian ni dia baiklah. Dia kepandaian yang baik walaupun dia tidak dia mempunyai penyakit SMA iaitu urat saraf. Tapi dari segi otak dia, dia tak terjejas. Sekolah juga boleh melupakan kita tentang penyakit SMA, tentang kita OKU. Sebab kita belajar semua benda luar. Yeah. So he's really very hard working person and he follows instructions very well. That's why he was top of the class for my English last year. Then I had to teach the uh, hearing impaired students. I used to ask him, I mean, what do you say? How do you sign for this? And he, now he communicates with them like normal daily, everyday routine for him. He doesn't find anything difficult in it. So he learned very fast. That was very interesting. Nama, saya, kemudian N, N, E, Z, M, I, Nazmi. Saya dapat kekuatan dari kakak saya, ya, Atika Amira. Atika was very friendly and she really wanted to study. And Nami is the same. He is a real good fighter. He really wants to be the top. Kakak saya, Atika Amira, dia pun mengidak sakit SMA dan dia SMA type 2. Dia seorang budak yang sangat pandai. Pandai, cantik, memang cedek sangat. Memang semua kawan-kawan cikgu memang suka sayang dengan dia. Dia meninggal di uh, di di rumah. Memang dia pesan dia akan meninggal di rumah, dia tak nak meninggal di sekolah sebab akan menyusahkan semua orang. 
Ah, keluarga saya rasa sunyi lah dengan tak ada kakak saya Atika Mira. Saya tengok Ahmad Nazmi sama itu yang membuatkan saya dan isteri rindu sangat dengan arwah Atika Mira. Dia memberi uh, dia uh, bercakap uh, nasihat dan beri semangat. Dia memberi nasihat saya supaya belajar bersungguh-sungguh. Uh, senyum, gembira, buat orang lain ketawa uh, dan buat apa yang saya suka dan ber, berbuat baik uh, dan cap, uh, terus belajar untuk capai cita-cita untuk menjadi doktor. Jadi kami bangga sangat dengan Ahmad Nazmi dia ingat pesanan arwah kakak dia hingga sekarang dia tetap belajar. He knows his his life is will be shortened and yet he's chosen to challenge himself. I mean he's only picked up chess two years ago and in two years he's won a medal for the country. Kemenangan uh, menang pingat emas uh, di para Asia Asia Para Games. Then that's not enough. He goes on to learn blind chess. I mean, how incredible is that? I mean, who would push themselves so hard? Blind chess, dia untuk uh, menguji ingatan dan diri rasa tangan-tangan supaya kita ingat apa yang kita buat lah, yang kita gerakkan buah ni. So it's like you know, he's got a limited time. He's just going to fulfill everything. Um, in that short time. Some children, they just give up very fast. Although they are physically fit, but for Nami, there's something in him that's driving him to do the And I'm really proud of him. Like, that's, that's one thing I have to tell about him. You know the situation is like this. They are really proud of him. Even if he is sick, even if he is waiting, he will continue to do it. Apa yang dia dia. He's very very proud of his achievements, um, especially in his chess. Um, but he is aware of his eventual mortality. Keadaan rasa makin lemah. Uh, tangan tangan dia pun dah tak boleh angkat tinggi. Tapi uh, dia dia tak akan mengalah. Kita tahu ya. Terima kasih banyak-banyak kepada Hospice Malaysia sebab membantu saya dan arwah Atika dengan memberi alat-alatan. Dia ada misi, dia cakap selagi hayat dia kandung badan, selagi belum aljal, dia akan teruskan hidup. Dia takkan menunggu aljal tu datang datang bila-bila. Dia, dia, dia takkan tunggu, dia akan pergi sekolah, dia akan buat apa yang budak-budak lain buat. Kami pun tak sangka yang dia budak yang sebesar ni 15 tahun boleh terima keadaan dia dan dia tahu keadaan akhir dia macam mana dia boleh terima dia boleh resolve dia boleh teruskan hidup dia. We continue the journey with Nami and hopefully he will thrive in different ways or despite his physical disability. It's important to for them to identify what their goals are and for us and the parents to allow them to fulfill it. Dia Ahmad Nazmi yang memberi kekuatan semangat untuk kami menjaga dia dengan lebih baik. Nasihat dia a uh, uh, sakit SMB gembira dan buat apa yang nak dan belajar bersungguh-sungguh sehingga berjaya.